This one is for all of the hard working people Jamaican people Some don't know what it feels like Be at work from 6 in the morning Straight up to midnight Midnight I'm here to tell you <laughs> You think it's easy if it I'm not new to Jamaica I've been there before I've been there on personal voyages and I have painted out there. Um, but this time we went out there solely to find out how well Jamaica received artists being there to paint and just to paint. Not to be there as a tourism, um, but to be there to give. I don't think that Jamaica needs street art and I don't think that street art needs Jamaica but I think that if the two know about each other they will work. Nice Up The Walls is essentially about street art coming to Jamaica. Um, there's not really very much street art going on in Jamaica. There's painting on the street but there's not the ethos of urban art and graffiti out there. We went straight for the music industry and we went straight for schools. There's the main reason for that is because those are the industries that have the biggest impact on the island and the island needs the most to survive. Painting at Tuff Gong was just ridiculous. Um, I'm a massive reggae collector and fan and the Mali industry has always been of great interest to me and currently with Junior Gong, Damien Mali being so successful it was really important to try and get into that somehow in that industry. So getting a response from Tough Kong was just mind blowing. Rast is strong in Jamaica at any time you go there, it doesn't matter how old you are, what your knowledge is, it's always pure. The older I get and the more I understand who I am, the more I understand the Rasta ethos and the way of life. It's real fun to, to mix with the environment and the community. Um, and we were embraced, we were accepted and they want us back.